YouTube, 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 what is good? Today we got... Wait, first before we got... What do you believe in? Do you believe the Earth is flat? Or do you believe the Earth is round? Let me know, dude. Um, me personally, it's round. It's round. That's just me. Hey, but if you believe what you want to believe, I don't care, bro. You believe what you want to believe. It, as long as it don't bother me or affect me, bro, you know what I mean? Or other people, hurting people. It's all good, man. This is what debating's about. This is what humans are in general, bro. Like, people are going to have different opinions. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, bro. Flat Earthers versus Scientists. This should be uh, maybe a messy episode, dude. <laughs> so let's see. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all that good stuff. The one on my right, the sphere, if you think that is the shape of the Earth, point to it now. If you think the other model is the shape of the Earth, point to it now. Two, one, zero, all in Wait, can we put it both? Lift off, we have... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. One. Sorry, I thought he was... Zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. One. Uh... Now, with that being said, even though I said um, <laughs> opinions and all that, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna express my, my opinions, okay? Un unfiltered opinions. I view the other side as uneducated. I'm running. <laughs> they, they think they are I'm running for this. Well, they're, they're certainly think. The nerve of the flat earthers. Like, why can't they be respectful? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you believe what you believe. Why can't you be respectful? Like, they're, they're oh, I believe they're not uneducated. Oh, I'm running. Bro, what? You're running? Like, why can't we be respectful? They're educated. And they're following um, quite a bit of, you know, the university system, what we call scientism. Right, scientism. Obviously is the belief in what's, um, what's written, where we tend to be exploring um, in the field with physical properties, not... Th what the fuck are you talking about? We're experimenting on the field. What evidence do you have that the Earth is flat? Theories of any kind. We're using actual measurements that are calculated not by our guidelines, but the guidelines of science as we know it. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you understand how big the world is? You can't just measure it out and say, oh yeah, it's a flat surface. I can only hope they're uneducated as opposed to disingenuous. Well, that's the other thing, too, because we know that, at least on a large scale, the government has been disingenuous, and they're, they're, they're pushing a narrative, right? So it's, it's hard for us. I mean, I'm sure that you've met people, too. It's like, look, are you just, you haven't looked into it yet, or are you a shill? That is, are you, are that you is the most earth flat thing and the flat earth thing of it. But just look but into it. Just look into it. Campaign. What's your evidence? I don't think you guys are uneducated. I think you're wrongly educated. I think the problem with bars, bars. What I've seen in the flat earth crowd is that it's not that they're undereducated, but they, instead of looking at evidence and letting the evidence guide to where the ultimate conclusion is, they start with a conclusion and then they try to cherry pick evidence to support their pre-drawn conclusion. Mm. They cast away all the bits of evidence that actually is contrary to their beliefs. I, I think that you're very well educated as well as you are, are Jim. But, Certainly Ali is, and, he's and, to get the best education he, he, of yeah, all of he, us. <laughs> exactly, and he paid for it too. Um, but more and more uh, professionals are coming on board, they're starting to question their reality. So the thing of it is, is once you start to really look, take a hard look at the evidence, and you are, are unafraid of just standing for the truth wherever that may lead you, uh, then um, you, you, people end up becoming flat earthers. What is your evidence though? What is your evidence? I'm hoping to be able to- Shelby, we don't care. I So, I, I mean, obviously any organization can be wrong with certain things and they uh, may have individuals that uh, lie or deceive or something, but as a general organization, um, they're looking for the truth. Yeah, the idea that 
NASA and the government is lying to us about the shape of the Earth is the height of conspiracy theories. In order for this to be true, the Can I ask a question? What is the benefit of NASA lying to us that the Earth is a globe? What is the benefit? ...of thousands of people who at some point over the last 50 or 60, 60 years would have to, had to be somewhat complicit in this and nobody spills the beans at all is on the face of it completely unbelievable. Here we go. The private does not know what the general is doing. There's compartmentalization happening all the time. Of course. So it wouldn't be that far-fetched. Has the government ever lied to us is really the question at stake. Oh, they we definitely have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but now we, Common now, ground. Now, yeah, now, we, now we have uh, NASA.gov, right? And we, oh, absolutely, they're not lying about anything. They're completely transparent. Everything is true. No. We'd be no, foolish no, 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 no. Uh, no. I'm sorry. The, 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 this is a fallacy here. There is not a, a fallacy. Uh, uh, I'm sure it is. Go See, ahead. You were talking about a government. Now yeah. you're talking about an agency NASA. of the government. Gov. But this agency is scrutinized by thousands and thousands of scientists around the globe. You are dealing with smart people, believe me. You are dealing with deny, smart people. I don't deny, I don't deny that. So it is very hard to do that. Once or twice, maybe. Not for the whole time. Raise your hand if you think we went to the moon. What is the proof? hundreds and hundreds of pounds of moon rocks and dust. And we have distributed those freely to PhD scientists around the world. And not one of those geologists have said, what is this? It's been is proven this to be fake. And, and also yes. not and collected on the ice in no, Antarctica. And yeah, in the how do you know? I like how she's just so quick to dismiss, oh, it's fake. How do you know? The Absolutely. Arctic as well. There's Those are collected. That you don't no. have to go to the moon to get moon rocks. As a matter of fact, all U.S. Air Force photography prior to 1958 shows a flat Earth. Only NASA shows That's a not sphere. True. That's that not is true. absolutely not, not true. true. Where are you seeing this? Where are you getting your information from? I wouldn't and, lie to you. And, and the other, the, the other, the other NASA is lying to you, my friend. Other bit of proof Not myself. Is we have a laser retro reflector up. on the moon yeah. that we're using so, now. Do we still use to this day? Yeah. You, it's you sitting can, there. You can find to the inch how far away the moon no is. No pictures of home. That only is there. Is but, by no, the way, there are not. My question to you is, why? Why would all these honest, hardworking people perpetuate? this massive fraud. Why would they do this? What's the benefit of doing Okay, that? the benefit of it. Exactly. They make $52 million a day. Follow the money. No, the little Follow guy. Follow the money. The little guy. That's what, then when you say all, okay. But it didn't start out that way. And NASA was not founded to prove that Earth was a globe. <laughs> Nothing to do with they were founded. Well, if you go and study Are you the sure? Whole. Yeah, positive. Really? This dude pissing me off. Are you sure? Have you seen the theories? You want facts? But you keep going on theories yourself, bro. Yes. Somebody has to be a voice so changing yep. this is the first interesting thing. I have to put myself in the mindset of the other side. Well, of course they can because they were on that side. I of the used switch. to be a ball earther. Everything you say ball right earther. now is completely what I used to agree to. So I completely understand where you're coming from. For me, I think the, the correct way to do any kind of investigation or to examine things is by literally putting yourself in that mindset of the other person. So I do do that. I, don't, I disagree with your position, but I completely understand from your perspective where, what you're saying. The don't get me wrong. I can definitely see how people get sucked into these conspiracy theories and they go down a rabbit hole. I can understand that. Trust me, I, I've done a few rabbit hole explorations in my, in my day. <laughs> With the Illuminati, trust me bro, I was deep in it. I can understand that, but like, they keep saying they want facts. What kind of facts and evidence does the Flat Earth have? And what, like, every time I hear the, the main argument for flat earthers is always do your own research. 
Like, that's not an argument. Well, I have understanding your perspective is in the modern world, unless you live in a cave somewhere, you have to believe in science implicitly. I've, I met a flat earther, a young woman who said, I don't trust anything that science does. And that's a problem because human beings can't replicate the whole body of science every single generation. At some point, you have to trust what's already been discovered and proven and move on to the next thing. Otherwise, we're not going to advance at all. I mean, when you turn that key ignition in your car, you expect the car to start out. And not blow up. And not blow up because science puts you in that position. So it's really hard to understand how people would know in their hearts that science achieves wonderful things and then just jumping ship when it comes to this other issue. We're not drawing conclusions. We understand the mechanisms that made that car work. There is no theories and no, no disputed conclusions involved there. It's not a good analogy. Can I admit a great compromise that we- What is- You keep saying theory, theory, theory. The flat earth is literally a theory. We have to experience being against the grain people is we have to literally sit in a group and decide whether or not we can afford to have an opinion. And that's, that's tough. I, I actually, I, I, I agree with you there because we're the same thing. I mean, I, I think skeptics go through this. So now we're playing the pity card. Go through this. I don't believe in God. When I'm around religious people, I take a chance socially when I tell them I'm an atheist. So I know it, it takes some courage to follow your beliefs, and I appreciate that. But I think I've done a lot of research in that venue, too. And it's not something I choose to believe in. It's something I have to believe in based on the evidence. See, what I get from you guys is that uh, seeing is believing. So how come you believe in God or Jesus? You haven't seen them. Neither Ooh, that's a good point. Nah, okay, okay, no, no, Ali is cooking. He said, you believe in theory, he said, you keep saying theory, I don't believe in scientific theory, we need facts. So how can you believe in religion if you can't see, yo. And I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm Catholic, I believe in God, so, bro, that's a good question. Of them, right? I've seen so, evidence, though. So. Well, exactly. So we are looking for evidence. There are many, many other evidences for Earth not being flat. My point is that these, are, these experiments clearly show that the Earth is globe. And you don't need to go outside it's the globe conclusion. to see it's globe. It's a, it's a theoretical... You told me you want the evidence. If you're That's saying not... that you look only to see something, then I dispute your belief system in God and Jesus or uh, Yehovah or Buddha or Zarathustra or anyone. You keep going back to religion as Because it's conclusion. coming from there. No, you think no, you do no, have not the truth. I have evidence. Just, I have evidence. You quoted at the know. beginning she of this. What's your evidence? What's your evidence? She quoted Bible. Of That's course the I did, reason. but that is not the only reason I know. Let me hear the evidence. Let me hear the evidence. Keep... Well, That's fallacy. It's not fallacy. It is Actually, fallacy. it is not fallacy. It is a fallacy. She, you... <laughs> she keeps saying, I have evidence. I have evidence. What's the evidence? We're out in the field measuring the world? Bro, do you understand? I'm a theoretical physicist. What are you hoping to get from this guy? After today, you convinced anything for us. Uh, um, science, not to put it down, but when you're talking about rocket science, this is very difficult for the majority of people to understand, and it's designed that way. And so, in a lot of ways, hiding behind rocket science is similar to religion. If you look at the Catholic Church back in the days, only we can interpret the Bible. You have to listen to what we say. So in a lot of ways, we're getting that same notion from science. She just compared rocket science to the Bible. Shut up. That says only we can interpret what these numbers are. You just... Anyone can interpret the Bible. Not everyone can interpret, understand, and process what rocket science is. Everyone can pick up a Bible, read it, and interpret it their own way. And that's just how it's meant to be, you know what I mean? 
What? Like, no one can pick up a rocket science equation, interpret it, understand it, and have their own conclusion to it. They need to trust us. But then when we actually do go and test some of their equations and they don't work, does that beg the question for us to go and test it ourselves? Absolutely. I would say, you know, one great thing about She's science lost, is its predictability. Let's for some moment, for a short moment, assume that your model, this flat earth model is correct. I don't know what does it buy for us? What does, what does it predict for us? Uh, so my question for you guys uh, would be next time, uh, bring me something from your theory, your model, that you can predict something which the globe earth uh, model cannot predict. Then I would change my mind. I would just say that don't believe anything that I've said. You gotta do your own research. And I think what you'll find is- Again, the main argument for flat earthers, you gotta do your own research. Why? Why do you have to do your own research? Give me, you keep saying we believe in facts. What's your facts, bro? What's your facts? That you'll see that a puzzle piece doesn't fit. And the only way you're gonna do that is if you put your own eyeballs on it. I don't blame people for being skeptical. I'm skeptical about a lot of different things. There's nothing I've wrong with we'll being skeptical. In you. But you have to go beyond just not believing in something. Mm -hmm. Ask the hard questions. Talk. Ask what qualifies a YouTuber, a book author, oh. anywhere else you're getting this information. What qualifies them to make wide-ranging comments about the shape of the earth? Look, anybody who can overturn Einstein or some major theory is gonna be eventually written in the halls of science for the rest of their lives. Facts. But they have to come up with the goods. They have to show uh, good science-based evidence that what they say is true, and they have to withstand the test of time and peer review and the rigors of the scientific method. Right. Exactly. Thank you. Nice to you. Oh, Ollie, it was nice to meet you. I don't even know why they're bringing religion into it in the first place. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, bro, I don't know. It's kind of... Hey, I want to get you a copy of my novel. Oh, good job. And, uh, yeah, good job I, 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 thank you guys for watching this. Again, bro, like, you know, if you believe what you believe, it's all good, man. Like, I don't know. Again, it's all debating. Don't take anything I say personally. Sometimes I just get riled up. <laughs> but yeah, bro, let me know. Uh, are you flat earther?